Alright Jeans, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. And today is the day that I am going to teach you how to dock anything to a space station, given that you have docking parts. So to start off, I already have this uh, smaller space station pre-built. I have docking ports all over it. It is ready for anything to come and attach to it. Orbit is at 20,000 meters, roughly. And I have all my solar panels set up for power. I have a science module or a science processing lab for extra science uh, capabilities with the the accelerometer, the barometer, the thermometer, the what's this thing? Or no, the gravioli detector and the goo containment unit. Anyways, that's pretty much it for the space station. Now, what I'm thinking of attaching is, oh, I don't know, um, maybe like a little arm on here for like sto uh, fuel storage, yeah, let's do fuel storage so we can refuel ships on the way out of Kerbin, and uh, we'll also a attach a... Uh, a docking or like um a, a docking port for uh a capsule to come and dock and transfer supplies to it so we can do that let's just jump right out of here and let's go to the space center there you go that is it all right so now what you want to do is of course you want to set yourself up into a stable orbit so let's go and add a maneuver let's get back into that editing mode and what's that looking we want it 200 kilometers as well there you go I think that is perfect Just trying to find the apoapsis node of. Oh, there it is. Periaps, apoaps. Perfect. Right. We can ditch the second stage now, as it will just weigh us down. Turn SAS on a bit. Lights won't do much now because we aren't on the dark side of Kerbin. What is with this strut? Oh my gosh. Alright. Let's time warp. Alright, there we go. Zero meters per second. What is our apoapsis node at? 209. So what we need to do now is pick a place anywhere along your orbit and make a maneuver now what we want to do is we want to match up our apoaps and periaps nodes now for me I went a little over so I have to figure out how to get that inside the loop and there we go that's it. Just fooled around with the normal a bit. Normal, by the way, is synonymous for perpendicular to your center of gravity. At least that's what I was told and what I understand of it. But I am by no means a professional, so don't always take my word. As I am doing this, I have no idea what the physics of everything I'm doing are so yeah I'm just an average gamer who doesn't 
take that big of a look into all the physics of the games that he plays. I'm just here for the fun and to teach you guys and to create good content for you guys. And I hope you enjoy. And if you do enjoy, that's what the big red subscribe button is for. So now we're going to make another maneuver at our periapse node to drag out Ooh, jeez. The Apple Apps node to match near that of our target, which is 221,000. We are looking for 200 and. Hmm. Let's see. Can we get within one kilometer of the same height? We can, because we just did. Yes. There we go. Now let's check out. Two twenty one. Perfect. Now let's find this little extra thing. That's not the Apple apps or Perry apps node. Ooh, shoot. Let's burn retrograde. Just a little bit. Because I push my orbit out. Um, normally, when you're doing your docking, you will want your orbital path to stay inside that of your target. So pay very close attention. All right. Now let's look at our ascending node. Let's create a maneuver right there. And what you want to do now is you want to adjust the pink triangles until you can get that to say zero. And I am far off it right now. All right, so now we are close. Descending node. We want that to say zero. There we go. Let's adjust it a little bit more. Okay, so that's going to be as close as zero as we are going to get. So let us turn towards the maneuver node once again. So another thing, um, you also want your periaps nodes to be very close to lined up if you were to draw a line through the planet as possible. Um, I'm not sure why that is, but apparently it is helpful just for visualizing your, your maneuvers. There we go, zero meters per second. Now if we check our descending node and ascending node, they will both be zero degrees. All right, so now make another maneuver anywhere on your orbital path, but this time right click on that ring that you see in the very center of everything. And now we're just going to click a lot on the bottom right button there. Yes, it is a button right here. And you're going to click it a bunch until this pink line over here, the target position at intersect one or two, matches up with this one way over here. And it is normal for them to be this far apart. So just keep on clicking and once in a while, um, once it gets close, check how close your maneuvers are, or uh, your encounters are, and you ideally want them within two and a half kilometers of each other, because at that point you can start using RCS to thrust yourself towards, or to propagate yourself towards your station or satellite. So we are almost there. Also note 
the closer your orbits are to each other, the even more precise this button will move that encounter node. So right now we're, uh, I'd say we're pretty good on the precision front. Not top notch, but pretty good. All right, so there we go, 2.8 kilometers. Can we get less? So now we just fiddle around 2.7, now 2.6, 2.9, 2.4. is absolutely perfect and now we have 29 days to go all right so what we want to do now is quit to the space center Let us go to the tracking station. And now we get to fast forward a whole bunch. Let what was mine? Twenty nine days? Let's go to day. I don't know. Twenty seven, let's see how close they are. You can determine your encounter by checking how close apart they are. All right, now let's go fly it. And now you can see we are within two and a half kilometers of our target. Let's switch to our target for a moment and make sure that we target our targeting spacecraft. Now let's take control control from here and we will aim that target wise it's pretty close to it so I'll set it to stability and assist and now we can use the square bracket buttons or curly bracket buttons to switch between our craft now when you're facing retrograde you're going to burn a bit until you get within two meters per second of your target then what you're going to do is you are going to point your ship anti-radial no radial my bad because we want to jettison this extra fuel tank All right, there we go. Just swing back into place, please. All right, and once your ship has stabilized again, let go of that tug module. And there we go. We are now free. All right, so now let's click, or right click on our large Clampatron docking port. Let's press control from here and let's hit the target on that SAS mode. It's for my own OCD sake, I am going to flip the ship to the right orientation. And now what we want to do is we want to use H and N, J, K, L, I, for RCS controls to thrust forwards and backwards, up and down, left and right, relative to our target. Uh, so a good idea for this would be hitting Alt F5 to make a custom quick save. Let's call this refueling module dock and then hit save and then if you want to reload that quick save you hit all and F9 to load it up 
and now you can see our prograde vector is starting to match up with what we want it to now once it matches up that means we are barely moving at all relative to it All right, now let's switch. And let us, no, not rotate that way. That was dangerous. Rotate the other way. This way. So that we can match it up easier. probably should have made these uh, solar extensions a bit less flimsy now that is too bright alright let's turn this back to the target Slow down, slow it down. All right, two meters per second. We are coming in at a good speed. Let's zoom out a bit. thrust up to match it so much patience is required there you go I think we are pretty well matched up there aren't we yes we are Slow it down. Now you can see the magnetic pull taking over. Very strong magnets. There you can see. It grabs on. And it is locked. There you go. And that, jeans, is how you dock to a space station. Now let's just take control from the cupola, control from here, and let us turn anti-radial once again to position this properly. Look at that. It's a piece of art. Anyways, that is it for this Kerbal Space Program tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace.